actually uh, the news exchange is quite an important tool for our um, news editors. I mean, on a daily basis, we uh, use, let's say, um, I think at least 30 items per day um, on an average. So uh, it's always it's always a reliable source for for coverage um, on all walks of life, more or less, and uh, we use it quite frequently. What's the best part of it for you? Uh, what the best part is for us is that there is a central organization uh, taking care of breaking news, for example, trying to establish uh, like um, live um, points, uh, live points uh, all over the world, uh, especially if there's breaking news. And um, usually we get coverage pretty quickly. I think it's it's a good uh, thing to have. The news exchange assures practically all foreign news workflow. Uh, for TVR news department, so it is very important uh, in point of information and especially in point of um, image. And we are also um, we are also very very proud of uh, the news exchange because there are many times where, when the agencies couldn't reach what we are looking for, and uh, the EBU has just offered what we need. All the private TV companies uh, are assuring maybe sometimes um, uh, better than us the pictures uh, in cases of breaking news and uh, but uh, uh, in point of rights and clearance they are not sure about uh, about the pictures and that is why it's better for us to take uh, EVN items and um, lives that are cleared and uh, with uh, all the rights. Uh. Let's put it this way, how much of your foreign news comes via the news exchanges? Um, I think quite a lot. Uh, we have AP, Reuters, AFP as well, but EVN is definitely a substantial part. And, um, for UGC it's very valuable, definitely. although we do need to train more people. So maybe we have to ask Derek to come over and talk to the staff because uh, not enough people are involved yet. I think nowadays RTP is using more the EVN uh, items because there are more stories, more uh, diversity and um, more quick uh, response on the, um, on the issues. So we still use a lot of agents material but uh, I think we are um, using more EVN. For our members, it's very important to get both the regional exchange, I mean, because that's the material coming from their neighbor, but also to get material from the rest of the world to fill in their program. And this is actually, they count this material and this become, both regional exchange and main exchange become their major source of material for the new bulletin. Mm -hmm. From the Anna Coordination Office, we always hear from our members that that's what makes them different from the rest of the media companies and countries because they have that advantage of mm -hmm. strong networks of public broadcasters from the region and from the Europe getting material, helping each other, being in contact. And that is something which is really a very uh, important uh, beneficial for them. Mm -hmm. We use a lot of uh, EVN content and we use them, use it in a traditional way in the, our TV news but now more and more on the online and the social media platforms mm -hmm. as well and it is the most important foreign news source for us. Mm -hmm. So it's mostly what uh, the, uh, the foreign news bulletin is, is produced from, right? Yes, it is. It is. It is the, yeah. As we trust less the others, we, <laughs> we trust mm -hmm. the Eurovision content more because mm -hmm. uh, it's very reliable. Mm -hmm. It's a reliable family. The role of the Eurovision Network and TV is very important because we rely, we rely absolutely on the news we get from Geneva. We have a lot of content, we have a 24-hour channel that covers all the news and we actually rely not only on Eurovision but this is actually our, our uh, the principal provider. But do, you, do you think you could do uh, the, the foreign news bulletins you're doing now without the exchange? I don't think so, I don't think so. I mean, um, international news, we have, of course, our uh, correspondents in different countries, but they can't always go to mm -hmm. the place. So they do, let's say, the live introductions. Maybe they can't go with their own cameras, but the, the range of coverage we get with the EU, it's, it's impossible. Mm -hmm. 
Well, of course, it's very essential to us to have the subscription to EVN because we cover a lot of uh, materials from, from abroad, and that's why uh, EVN is uh, undoubtedly one of the uh, one of the main um, uh, suppliers of uh, quality quality videos from abroad from the entire world. It would be really nice to have more archive materials because especially this is very um, this is very uh, essential if you're making a cutting for a program when uh, the event uh, or some meeting or be whatever uh, just happened a few minutes before the program and you don't have uh, much time to search for some videos and archive or profiles of uh, public figures political figures would be very useful for our members it's very important to get both the regional exchange, I mean, because that's the material coming from their neighbor, but also to get material from the rest of the world to fill in their program. And this is actually, they count this material and this become, both regional exchange and main exchange become their major source of material for the new bulletin. Mm -hmm. From the Anna Coordination Office, we always hear from our members that that's what makes them different from the rest of the media companies in their countries because they have that advantage of mm -hmm. strong networks of public broadcasters from the region and from the Europe, getting material, helping each other, being in contact. That is something which is really a very uh, important uh, beneficial for them. Mm -hmm.